Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for coming back to check me out. Yet a mother freaking again. And guess what? I'm back, mother Ethel. Period. <laughs> so I really just wanted to reconnect with you all. First of all, I want to give a major shout out to everyone who has reached out to me regarding my last celibacy video with the Q&A, the celibacy journey one-on-one, -on -one, the real tea. That thank you all so much for reaching out to me. Like the response that I have gotten in regards to that video is overwhelming. You know what I mean? And it made it more so inspiring to come back and continue what I really wanted to do and go the direction that I wanted to go with this celibacy journey thing. Okay, so let's just let's just put that out there okay starters even though you may not tell because i got like two three likes or two three comments but there has been an enormous response to that video um people has inboxed me on a personal level and i'm just completely 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 overjoyed with what that video done in some of you all's lives okay yeah. that's the whole goal you know what i mean i want to give you my celibacy journey first base lower level as it is you know and i think it's important for everyone to know on my end on my spectrum this ish don't start from a religious based background i mean way in the beginning it did but if you want the tea on that, you got to watch the last celibacy journey. And that thing will be somewhere in the cards or linked below. But that's not why we're here. We're here, here to follow up on the last video. And as I mentioned in the last celibacy journey video or update or whatever you want to call it, um, there will be a series of other videos stemming from or, you know, regarding the same topic. I decided in this video, I will not have this in my hand the whole time. Neither will I have this glass in my hand the whole time, but we shall sip and we shall talk and toast about it, period. For starters, I just want to give you a disclaimer. Anything that you hear in this video is, of course, Chrissy's unpopular opinions. We know this. Like, I, <laughs> we know I'm going to give an unpopular opinion or two or three or the whole entire video. If you can't stand that, don't even bother to continue to watch. If you can't take what you already got, just move on. Because I'm going to give it to you real tea. And what I learned in this society on YouTube, especially being a part of YouTube for so many years and gotten so much backlash a lot of people don't like the real tea they like the fabricated tea so if you like that real ish tune in keep watching okay all right so outside of that this video um is going to be as you can tell by the title discussing the ver uh the verses between celibacy and the abstinence um the reason why i wanted to do this video is because it is a major question in someone who has decided to say no to sex life um this question this research actually has been a part of my research since pretty early on um within the back and forth of going whether i wanted to commit to celibacy or not um and then after i decided to take that commitment i decided to deem my journey as a celibacy journey and you know you come across different videos because if you're anyone like me anything that you decided to get into or tap into you want more information on it so you start to do your research and i started to come across different things so at some point i'm like well am i practicing celibacy or am i practicing abstinence like which one is it and if you have that question i'm here to answer that question for you in Chrissy's unpopular opinion style. So just keep watching. Again, disclaimer, these are my opinions according to my actual research, period. I strongly encourage you to do your own research, but we'll get further into that in a bit. All right, of so course, I will be using my color-coded cheat sheet, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with defining sexual intercourse I think that this is an important thing to start with just so you can have like in your head 
some type of momentum going, you know what I mean? So to define sexual intercourse is in short, okay, sexual contact between individuals. It doesn't tell you how many individuals, it's between individuals. It can be two individuals, 10 individuals, you know what I mean, whatsoever. <laughs> and it it's for the purpose of an orgasm. Point blank period. That's just what I sum it up to be. You know, it it involves penetration. Um, and I only say that and I paraphrase that myself, but technically it's just like a penis and a vagina or, you know, it can go there, anal, oral, whatever. But sexual intercourse is an, a sexual, um, sexual contact to where there's penetration, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? Going from that, I want to define the difference between celibacy versus abstinence. That's why we're here, right? So, to sum it up, paraphrasing, of course, celibacy is choosing to abstain from sex, marriage, or both, with or for an extended period of time, or possibly forever. It could be a permanent decision that's when the term celibacy comes into place okay two abstinence it just simply means that you are abstaining from sex okay you made the decision not to have sex there you go and then i'm ready to drop this notebook y'all so i can talk to y'all for real for real <laughs> So the okay. next thing that I have here is how does practicing celibacy versus abstinence pertains to a journey? I'm going to break it down real quick and then we're going to get to the nitty gritty and I can throw this notebook away. Okay. Celibate. So is choosing no sex. Abstinence is saying no penetrative sex. In short. Period. In short. <laughs> You define your journey, period, 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 period. So I mentioned in my last video that it is important to be a part of different support groups that practice celibacy or abstinence or whatever the case may be that is embarking on the journey that you embark on. But... I've also stressed a couple of times in that video, I make a few pointers and I made that clear in those in that video. You should also look towards groups that is not just religion based, okay? So when it all boils down to the definition and are you practicing celibacy? Are you practicing abstinence, point blank period, However you choose to decide to define your journey is your journey. For starters, being celibate and being um, abstinent is synonymous, meaning you can change those words and switch them out interchangeably amongst each other. They literally mean the same thing. With the exception of being celibate means that, hey, you may want to abstain from, I mean, you know, I say abstain because it literally, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's the point. But you may want to abstain from getting married. You want to make the commitment. A celibacy journey, being celibate is a lot more of a commitment because it really defines your life. You know what I mean? So when you are celibate and you take an oath, like a lot of times um, the term celibate is used in a religious based background. Now, that's not set in stone. It's just most of the time. It's just to sum it up. That's what people who abstain from sex for religious based purposes that's the term that they choose to use, being celibate. I'm born and raised in a religious background. I am not religious. I am spiritual. I am not practicing celibacy for religious-based purposes, but that doesn't make my definition any less than anyone else's. 
it just more so defines, you know, someone that is a nun, for instance. They literally take an oath to celibacy. They will not get married and they will not have sex. Right along with the priests. They are not supposed to have sex. They're supposed to abstain from sex and marriage for the like the rest of their life. It's a long-term commitment. Um, so where people kind of get kind of conflicted with when it comes to the term celibacy is because, you know, of that, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I don't want anybody to be conflicted and so focused on the term, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's super synonymous. It's super interchangeable. Okay. So whether you are practicing celibacy or abstinence, celibacy however long of the extended period that you decide to embark on your celibacy journey that is your decision abstaining from sex it may not have any involvement with marriage but you have made the decision to abstain from sex from ex you know whatever purpose that you decided to abstain from sex from it could be health reasons it can be traumatization it can be a personal religious choice it's completely up to you so i like to put it like this you cannot like go and research the word celibate or the word abstinence and run with that you really have to do your research and that's the only reason why i'm able to come out with this video right now because i done my research because I was so conflicted. I'm like, well, what the hell type of journey am I on? After doing my research, I still decided to call this journey a celibacy journey for my own reasons, because it's my journey. And according to my research, whatever I define resonated with me. And I define this as a celibacy journey. But as you noticed in my last video, and even in this video, I like to use the term abstain you know what i mean so it's literally interchangeable okay it's literally interchangeable i don't want anyone getting so caught up on the definition and lose the focus of the why you know what i mean it's really important to understand why are you making these decisions rather than the de definition of it itself you can label your mother freaking abstinent celibacy journey however you would like. I don't put labels on it. I'm just more comfortable going with celibacy journey. Just like my locks. If someone called my locks dreadlocks, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, my locks aren't dreads. It's dreadful. No, I call my locks locks because that's the term that I am more comfortable using. I love giving nicknames to ish, okay, point blank, period. And what's short for dreadlocks? Locks. That's how I look at my celibacy journey in a different type of way. You feel me? So don't focus so much on the definition itself. Understand your why. That's the only thing that matters at the end of the day, okay? Um, with the exception of all of that, keep in mind that, you know, there are people that are going to get confused and this, that, and the third. But when you, the reason why I strongly encourage you to do your research is because when you start to research celibate, abstinent, you will learn for yourself that they literally mean the same things. You will come across a definition for celibacy and define, you know, the word for abstinence. And you will come across the same definition and vice versa. One will say this means penetrative sex. That basically um, abstinence means, you know, you're abstaining from penetrative sex, but you're willing to do oral sex. And then a few research later, you will come across something that says being celibate means you're willing to do oral sex and being abstinent means no type of sexual activity. It literally is so interchangeable. You will never find the true definition of it because guess what? Google don't have that true definition of it. That's why anytime this topic comes up amongst a group, you get the same answer for both. 
abstinence and celibacy okay so i'm just here to tell you point blank period be comfortable in your journey you define your journey whatever you define your journey to be that's what the hell it is period and stand strong and firm on that whether you're practicing abstinence or celibacy they are literally both synonymous to each other because you cannot do the research and find another example that says otherwise you are literally going to get the same definition for each other literally so i use the terms celibacy and abstinence all in one sentence as you know i did a whole video on celibacy and i continuously use the term you know practicing abstinence and this that and the third so that's up to you but i'm telling you from my point of view you're not going to get a concrete answer when it comes to defining the difference between the two i'm sorry i'm here to tell you that so here's two practicing celibacy and abstinence thank you so much for tuning in peace and love love and harmony and be blessed yes